everybody. Hey. Whoa. Welcome to the first Plasma Skiff Industries video podcast. First. Record. Yeah. Yep. And we got our, and your normal host, Ian and Brendan, and our guest, Christian. We would have had uh, more people, but everyone else was busy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah. And this is a very special podcast, because this is our E3 recap podcast. Yeah, it as is. Well. Yeah, it is. So, I have a list with me of all the stuff that happened in E3, so I'm going to bring it up and tell it and tell it what happened. Very first off, <coughs> first off is Nintendo, because this is the first one. Legend of Zelda will be the new Legend of Zelda game will be coming out for the Wii U in 2015. More Legend of Zelda, Link. Link. Yeah, it actually Smosh looks badass. Link. It actually looks more badass. Than the Smosh rap was hilarious. Sword. Yeah, he, he actually has a bow and arrow. It's really cool. Oh, he has a bow and arrow. He has a, he has a bow and arrow. I don't want to watch the freaking trailer. And uh, sorry though, I vote. Red thing up. Anyway. Star Fox Wii U coming out in 2015. Don't even know what that is. I know. I know what Star Fox is. Oh yeah, and I guess Disney is getting into Skylanders because around Christmas of 2014 they will be releasing Skylander type figures based on their on their Nintendo characters. No, I think Skylanders is kind of stupid. It's yeah. For, um, it's a. Uh, they have characters like Mario, Pikachu. Yoshi. Did you just say Pikachu? It's Pikachu. Whatever. <clears throat> it's Pikachu. Then it doesn't matter. Then then uh, Yoshi, uh, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Star Fox, Peach, Kirby, and all of, a whole bunch of other characters. I feel like if I was ten, I'd be really into Skylanders. If I was ten, I'd. And also, uh, they're actually going to be releasing Mario Maker, which I guess is a a Wii U game. That you can make your own your own Mario levels. You like can, you can make your own levels. So it's like the so it's like Geometry Dash where it's like the impossible game except you can make your own levels too. Yeah, like you can make your own levels. Like I you love can those games. like you place blocks, you place villains, you place pipes and all that stuff. That actually looks pretty cool though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's coming out in twenty fifteen and around Christmas of twenty fourteen they're gonna release the uh their um other stuff, the uh Skylander related toys that they're gonna have. It's supposed to be good. Okay. And I guess another Yoshi game is called Yoshi's Wooly World, which is coming out in early 2015. That is just one messed up name right there. <laughs> wow. <Wooly World. laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> now, okay. I'm a huge Sony fan. This is the Sony one that we're going up to next. I'm a huge Sony fan. PS4. Yeah. Hashtag the PS4. Anyway. First up on the list, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I actually watched the trailer to this. It actually looks pretty good. I never played any... Uh, I never played any uh, uh, Uncharted games. But this actually looks pretty good, though. Like, I admit, like... And also, it's the first Uncharted game on the PS4, so... Christian was sold this up this Yep. It actually looks pretty good. Like I admit, it looks like any a Sony, decent game. Any Sony product, Christian, is instantly sold. Also, The Last of Us, which is a really, I heard it's a, like a really great game for the PS3. It's coming out for the PS4. It's going to be digitally remastered, and they're going to have the the remastered the the remastered version will include. The Last of Us let, Left Behind DLC and a host of weapon upgrades for a gritty single player campaign. Yeah, buddy. Now, Destiny. Destiny actually looks pretty good. Also, Destiny will be launching to the PS4 first before Xbox One. And also, they're going to have a bundle with it. It's going to cost. $100. 400 I guess. I think it's going to cost 400 Well, yeah, it's all that. I think it's about four. But in the bundle, the bundle, it says, it says Sony will also be launching a special edition Destiny PS4 bundle that will include a copy of the game, a white PS4 500 gigabyte console oh, with a white why. with a white DualShock mm -hmm. 4 controller and a 30 day free trial mode to so you can play multiplayer and it will be released on September 9th. 
Good idea, right? It's a good idea. Well, pretty good idea. And plus, it's white too, because I have the jet black it's one, white. which is also fine with your gigabyte. Kind of seems also. better than the um, Xbox One Titanfall. Yeah, it does. Then, yeah. well, I bet that'll sell more than the Titanfall. How much did the Titanfall one sold? It was like four fifty. Jesus. Anyway, also, I knew this one was going to come up. Grand Theft Auto Five for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Christian's definitely pumped for that one. I am so excited. I, when I first played GTA Five, I knew they were going to have it on the consoles when they were going to announce it. And also, a few months ago, there was this guy in a foreign country who announced that he is going to be selling GTA Five for PS4. So that kind of guessed that GTA Five will be announced. So, and also. They are adding new stuff to it, actually. They're adding, like, a couple new stuff to it. Like, it says, like, that this, it will be, it will have exclusive type of content. Like, it says, it'll have, it says here, when GTA, when Grand Theft Auto V releases, launches on, on the new generation of platforms, the game will receive several improvements due to the increased cap capabilities of the new hardware. Fans will be able to enjoy improved textures, draw distances, and and an, a larger number of car of vehicles in the world. So I guess they're gonna have new characters. I guess again, no, not new characters, new vehicles. I guess new vehicles. I'm excited, excited for that. Also, if any one of you have a have GTA Five for online for the PS4 or Xbox One, Xbox 360 or PS3, whatever. You can actually transfer your Grand Theft Auto Five, um, your Grand Theft Auto Online, like character. You can transfer that over to the new consoles. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you had me scared for a second. I thought you were gonna be like, "Oh, here's my gamer tag. So you can yeah. play with me." Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, like, so like, if you have your own character on Grand Theft Auto Online, you can transfer that over to the PS to PS4 or Xbox One. So yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Cause I bet, cause I bet if Chris is gonna get either one of the consoles, I bet he's gonna. Because Richard's gamer tag is. Oh, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Don't yeah. pull his app. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, a souvenir. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know we had Brian, we had Brian Haywood on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Met mm. Metal Gear Solid 5 A Phantom Pain, which I guess is being released in uh, 2015. Also. I forgot to mention, Grand Theft Auto 5 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC will also be released in the fall of this year. Yeah, so, well, a little, a little bit of a wait, but it'll be worth it. Oh, yeah. PlayStation TV, which I guess is like a thing that you can stream like things to. You can like stream like sort of like a, base, a based game streaming service. And it's called PlayStation TV, and it's coming to the UK. Yeah. Like I don't know what's the UK. I don't Screw know what's the, the what's the money the, the money stuff for it. Like yeah. let's see. They call it pounds. I don't know what how much it is like I, they call it they call it, they call it pounds. It's a hundred pounds, I guess. But how much would that be? It'd be British pounds actually. How much would that be then? Well, I, I don't have a convert money convert on there right now. Let's let's do more that's more than that. More yeah. than the US. Yeah, it's more than the US. Next, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Isn't he? That's the Assassin's Creed. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Right? Yeah. Far Cry 4, which also looks pretty cool. Also, Far Cry 4. The Division. Like, The Division also looks pretty cool. Like, it's also. It's, it says uh, that it's being released in. 2015. A lot of these games are being released in 2015. Jesus. Also, the year of movies. Yeah, also. That's what I was thinking, too. Because it's being released in the year of movies because they have Marvel, Star Wars, and all that stuff. I'm like, wasn't 2013 also a big year for movies? Isn't it always like the odd number of years that are always the big years for movies? It feels like. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it's like, like yeah. Avatar came out in an odd number of years. Like, think of how many movies uh, you got in 2013. Titanic. Odd number uh, of years. No, ten was not good. Uh, Iron Man three, ten. Thor: The Dark World. Yeah, all on number of years. Yeah, Jesus. Anyway, Star Wars Episode one on number of year. Yeah, 
and Star oh, yeah, Wars episode nice. Star Wars episode I three think that also went on here. Yeah. If anyone wants to go ahead in the comment section and try and disprove that theory, go ahead. Anyway, the crew, talking. which I guess is a racing game, being released on like the 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 crew closed beta opens on opens it on July twenty third. It's a racing game, so. The Assassin's games. Creed Unity, which I am actually really looking forward to. That's actually one of the games I really want to get. Unity. It's it, it takes place in um during the French Revolution. So. Like, why did I why did I guess that? You guessed that. <laughs> why did you guess? It was like the other one was like the American Revolution. Right? Yeah. yeah, they did American Revolution for three. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Reeves yeah. brought that up. Last oh yeah, I remember and, that. Um, that was awesome. And U.S. history one. Yeah. And Wait, who? Mr. Reeves. He was like our. Oh, okay. He was our U.S. history one. Too. Anyway, anyway, so he and so I know three was um, American Revolution, four was Pirates, and now I guess this one's five, but it's Unity, so I don't know if that's five. Uh, I'm, I'm, how much do you want to bet that the sixth one's going to be like the Civil War? Either Civil War or Samurai. So that's what I'm hoping for. Samurai. Samurai is actually pretty cool. Samurai. Because like it's. It's gonna take place in Japan. Oh, I guess. Okay. I'm guessing it's gonna take place in Japan as the new app samurai. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That would be cool. Oh, actually, buy the game. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying I won't buy it. It's, that would be cool, but I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah. Um, there's gonna be a new FIFA game, which no one pretty, pretty much cares about. Uh, well, the world counts on now. And uh, Diplo and Diplo made a mix for it. I feel like some of these video games are beneficial. What to to our generation? Yeah, like if you, like if you think about it, Minecraft it encourages like people from architects when they start building things in it. And they also so use Minecraft. Minecraft to they also use Minecraft in schools. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Games like Call of Duty and Halo will like like they help. Go they to war. Yeah. Well, they, they, they encourage people to join the military sometimes. Yeah. But like yeah, and then you know, and then it's... games like Assassin's Creed get people into history. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's actually. It actually got me into history. Oh yeah. If you want now, a challenge, Battle... bring it in the Wait. comments. Dude. Now EA with EA. Yeah, come at me. Battlefront. Uh, no, Battlefield Hardline. Battlefront. 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 Battlefield Hardline. I actually like the trailer, but the trailer reminds me so much of first-person GTA because it's cops and crimin criminals. In the new battlefield yeah. It's like literally first person GTA. That's what it makes, it makes me think of it. Is. And uh, the trailer just looks good. Uh, the, new, the new Mass Effect, which I really don't care about. Uh, and there's Mirror's, Aid, Mirror's Edge 2. Like, you remember the Mirror's Edge thing where oh, it's yeah. the hardcore rage quit? Yeah. They're making a sequel to it. So I guess Michael's going to play that. Can you actually get? Can you actually like climb up ladders now this time? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the rage quit, it's, it's like come on, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, we have to show you that later. We have to show you that. All right. Anyway, then a new FIFA game, which pretty much no one's gonna care about. You said that already. Uh, You're gonna punch in the face. Once you know. Then Star Wars Battlefront, which is a new Battlefront game. Yeah. You wanna the create the people that are developing it. They actually went to the actual places where they actually shot the first, the original trilogy. Like, they went to Hoth, they went to the places where they shot um, the Endor. And they actually took pictures, they actually filmed, like, the, uh, they actually went to the place, took pictures of the actual scenery, so they could make the scenery in the game look more, more efficient than that. That's what they do for, like, the backgrounds of the Amazing World of of the Amazing World of Gumball, because like that's why I like the background the animation looks like so realistic. Yeah, they're doing that in Star Wars Battlefront, which I think is pretty cool. And there's actually a video of them do actually doing that, like they were walking through Endor and all that other stuff, which actually looks pretty amazing. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. And if you and if any of you aren't realizing it, Brendan's playing Geometry Wars on his phone. On his geometry iPod. Dash. Geometry, uh, geometry Dash. dash. Anyway. Yeah, possible game ripoff. Um, Ian, just kidding. Yeah, Ian, Brandon said it's a lot easier than that. No, it's, it's not, yeah, it, well, it's easier, well, it, but it also, at the same time, also kind of prepares you for Impossible Man. Wait, yeah, Microsoft. Game. The new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, actually looks pretty amazing. 
Like, it takes place in 2054. Oh my god, this is the year I brought up earlier. Like, I asked Ian, how old would he be in 2054? And Ian's like, I don't know. Um, that, I just said that. Or 55, and then 56, and that's the number. Alright. Also, Forza Horizon 2, which Chris actually brought up a couple times, like, during, like, the, during this week, Chris actually brought it up, and Chris was, like, really excited for it. It was. Yeah. It actually looks pretty cool, and they're actually releasing a new like Lamborghini. Like, I think it's like a new Lamborghini car in it that has never been released. Like, that has never been shown until no he really showed it. Or soon. And Evolve, which actually looks pretty amazing. Like you can play as the hunters, or you can play as the monster, and you actually can go against each other. It actually looks pretty cool. It's being released in October of 2014. Yes, this year. Yeah. 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 And Get if you point. play Left 4 it says like it's if you play like Left 4 Dead, you like kind of know it, like and you kind of like get the gist of it. And it actually looks pretty good. So. And apparently for Microsoft, they're actually planning on having friend, family friendly Kinect games. I'm like, have the past Kinect <laughs> games have ever been non -friend, family friendly? Oh, no. Is that ever in the case of <laughs> any of these family friendly Kinect games? I was literally like, what the freak? Assuming if parents have no lives and just play games with their kids all day. Yep. All right. Also, what I'm about to say right now will probably make Cole choose the Xbox One for this specific reason. The Halo Ma the Master Chief Collection. Ian Cameron it's already based... chose the Xbox One the last time. He I know. But uh, he was already this, convinced. apparently this is going to have the first four without... With with this, it's gonna be it's gonna have the first four Halo games on one disc. It's gonna be without Wars and without Reach, but it's gonna have Halos one, two, three, and four on one disc for the Xbox One. Yeah, well, and it will be re it'll be, and it says that it will be running in 10 1080p HD at 60 frames per second. I so it's going to look pretty amazing. So I guess Cole's going to get that. But the thing is, it's put in British pounds, so it says forty nine ninety nine in British. Yeah. So. So for British, then put it in comments. If you know what that is, if by any chance, if you know like you can, the different, you can figure it out. They if you know, if you know what's the different current, what's the currency between other countries and. Yeah, Google has the thing where I you don't want to do that right now because I'm trying to have this up. We're just too lazy to do it, people. Ah, uh, what's with my phone? My phone, my phone's like glitching me out of Safari because I have this thing. I was gonna take a thousand screenshots of this freaking website just to get the entire list. What's next? I'm trying to find it. Jesus. Like talking about, uh, like, what do you think of the list apps? Alright, another Tomb Raider game, which is basically called Rise of the Tomb Raider. No one gives a crap about that. Yeah, dude. Tomb Raider. Right. <laughs> Crackdown 2. Crackdown. Oh, Crackdown 3, I guess. Or Crackdown 3. Yeah, Crackdown 3. Well, it's a game. Well, yeah, this is like naming their games. Naming their games. And that's pretty much it on the list. So, what do you guys think? Okay, which one, which, out of all of them, which one are you most excited for? Sony sounds like it's killing it. Sony sounds like it's going to be it. Like, between Xbox and, because last year they just went crazy because um, PS4 and Xbox One were going to be released in the upcoming months, so they had to go crazy with it. And also, the PS, PlayStation also showed the first look at Minecraft for the PS4. It looks freaking awesome. Like they, yes, they they actually yeah, rebuild they rebuilt the PS4 in Minecraft. It's actually a replica of the PS4 with the controller and the set and the system. Oh snap! And it looked freaking amazing because all they did last year with Xbox One Minecraft, they said there it was a computer gen. It was like it looked computer generated uh, footage. It's just a person walking out, Minecraft for Xbox uh, uh, Minecraft Xbox One edition. This bigger one. worlds, bigger multiplayer, more fun. I was actually surprised fun. when I like learned that um, bigger fun 
and this one, they actually went, they actually went deep into the actual gameplay of it, and they also rebuilt the PS4 with the co- with the controller, and they actually have it in the thing. I was like, That's I was surprised when I learned that the um, Xbox version of Minecraft actually doesn't have like infinite worlds because like you do the PC version, but like you only have like a limited amount of space for just the Xbox version. I was surprised I was like, what? Yeah, because it depends on how much gigabytes you have. Oh yeah. Because the computer you have like endless space, but like because because the consoles only have a certain amount of gigabytes, that you can only hold so much information on it. And then you get because that's what Cole had. Because he said that the reason why he doesn't that he doesn't play online multiplayer for Halo is one he doesn't have Y, which I'm pretty mad at him for. But also he doesn't have because when Halo Four came with two discs, one for the campaign and one for online. Because you had to install online to play. He wasn't able, able to, be, to install it because his thing was built. Because his memory was built. So he had the. So he couldn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Anything. I think he told me Because he has like so much games in his inventory. <laughs> like, he, has, he has Mass Effect, he has yeah. Halo, he has. He has like. Oh, he has like, like every single Halo game. Like, like World Shelves. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, I was like, dude, seriously? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yep. So. I'm excited for Minecraft, GTA, and Assassin's Creed mostly. Like those three games, I'm actually really excited for. Brennan, I'm excited for the first one. Uh, Minecraft, yeah. yeah, me too. Like that's why I was thinking, like all of us get PS4, so we can all play together, and we can all do stuff on the PS4. But mm-hmm. I think like three ninety nine, I probably will get one. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you ask one for your birthday? Uh, for two seconds, you're probably not going to get one for your birthday. You just buy it. Well, you're you're smart. You're probably gonna be rewarded. Well, not not. When you live in this giant house. <laughs> you're probably gonna get something. But well, Ian, yeah, well, yeah, you're like, probably gonna be see, rewarded. Ian lives in a giant house. So see, the problem <laughs> is, um, is Ian could get rewarded, but he unfortunately, I don't want to say it. Like, has bad, it has horrible grades. Well, I don't know. They're all S. They're all S. Well, he, he got like. Got like all seats. So. Uh, yeah. Well, I do not I have four of grades for that. I, I got a D in every class except for math. Which what grade do you have in math? I got a seventy in math. What's with you guys? This is the easiest class on the planet. What's with you? You almost failed history, and that class is ridiculously easy. We'll cut Shut this part up. out. We'll yeah, cut this yeah, part yeah, out. <laughs> Just to let Ian FYI we'll cut this part out. Are we gonna cut this part? Out? Yeah, we are. Right. Anyway, hey. So, Ian, you want to end this? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sorry for that um, cutscene we had there. And Brendan, you are not supposed to bring up. I have to cut the portal. You the broke the fourth out. wall, Brendan. You're going to have to cut the portal about the graves out. Let's not start talking about it again. Yeah. Uh, hey, so, Ian, you want to end this? Yeah, well, okay, so we're probably going to be making, like, more episodes of this podcast probably, like, out few times like a month. Like during, during the summer. Because it's summer. summer right now. We're going to enjoy it as much as we can. Yeah, we are. Yeah, buddy. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Yeah. So. He's going to get them Florida banks. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Unless I'll kill you. Or else I'll kill you. Subscribe. Brennan's kidding. Or he'll kill you. I'll come <laughs> Brennan's kidding. But, you know what? You're talking about Alright, see you guys. See you guys. Comment, like, and subscribe.